Go. Whoa! Hello everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day so far. Get strapped in because we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman White Knight Bat Cycle today and I'm very excited. A couple housekeeping things before we get going though. If you are subscribed, please hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. I'm going to be trying to post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Three days a week, that's my goal. I think I can do it, I believe in myself, so that's what we're going to shoot for. Also, reviews will not be the only type of video that I do moving forward. I'm going to experiment with other types of videos as well. Commentaries, top tens, all that stuff. I appreciate you all going on this journey with me, I really do. So thank you so much for any and all support, and let's get into the review. Batman White Knight is an Elseworld Batman tale written and illustrated by Sean Gordon Murphy. It was an eight issue series that was published in 2017 and 2018. Without giving too much away, what if Joker regained his sanity and decided to conquer Gotham through politics instead of crime, turning Batman into the villain, and now Jack Napier into the hero? It's a great story with even better artwork, and I think McFarlane Toys have really captured the essence of Sean Gordon Murphy's artwork with these figures. One thing that I think is a major improvement over the Hellbat cycle that we got with the Death Metal Batman is the fact that there's a nice dark wash all around where the engine is. It's a small thing, but it really adds quality to the overall look of the vehicle. There are some parts that don't have a wash on it, but as long as the engine does, that's alright with me. Another thing I like is that these are real rubber thick wheels. It feels so much better than just having a plastic wheel. However, I mostly prefer my wheels hot. Beat that. However, the piece de resistance is of course the Batman White Knight figure on this motorcycle. And he looks amazing. Unfortunately though, he only has one grip hand. So he's only able to hold on to the handle with his left hand. His right hand is a fist. So there's that. But again, from an aesthetic perspective, he looks great. He matches the artwork to a T and I couldn't be happier with how it looks. I'm really excited to see what McFarlane does in the future when it comes to vehicles. We already saw that he's announced a death metal monster truck, which I'm really excited for, and I can't wait to see what else he does. Maybe we'll get a Batman submarine one day, who knows. On a serious note, I would like a Nightwing motorcycle or something along those lines, that would be great. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, y'all, please stay safe out there. He went real far. Mm.